In understanding the defense for the King James Bible, it is crucial to understand why this version has become pivotal for many professing Christians as the book they base their faith on. The translation not only has thousands of ancient extant manuscripts that prove its validity, but the fruits of this version have been felt through many generations that no other rendition of the Bible has ever seen. One of the main reasons why the authorized version is a secure translation is because of those who oppose it, the Catholic Church, and also its rejection of the Alexandrian line, as this line is the source for Catholic translations of the Bible as opposed to the Byzantine line of the Greek Orthodox Church, along with many other churches through the history of Christianity. That same line of manuscripts has been the basis for almost every new version that has come out within the last 150 years, and although many would assume that's where the Catholic influence ends, the connections go even further. In making renditions of the Bible, the Nestle Alon Greek text, currently in its 28th edition, is one of the main contributing influences of new versions and is used as the base interlinear text for websites such as Bible Hub. We see, however, something appear within the 27th edition that makes the controversy all the more valid. As we can see in the introduction, an admission from the publishers of who is involved in the construction of the text. Nestle Aland Nuvom Testamentum, 27th edition, Introduction, page 45, published in 1993. The text shared by these two editions was adopted internationally by Bible societies, and following an agreement between the Vatican and the United Bible Societies, it has served as the basis for new translations and for revisions made under their supervision. This marks a significant step with regard to interconfessional relationships. It should naturally be understood that this text is a working text, in the sense of the century-long Nestle tradition. It is not to be considered as definitive, but as a stimulus to further efforts toward defining and verifying the text of the New Testament. For many reasons, however, the present edition has not been deemed an appropriate occasion for introducing textual changes. Not only does the 27th discredit itself for not being an accurate and reliable rendition of the Greek, but here we can see that the Nestle's text has been under the Vatican's supervision. This isn't the last connection either as when we look at one of the names behind this Greek text, we see a man named Carlo Maria Martini, an Italian Jesuit who was Archbishop of Milan from the years 1980 to 2004. The Jesuits are a counter-reformation order that was founded by Ignatius of Loyola in 1540 and has persecuted Protestant Christians throughout the centuries for practicing their faith outside of the control of the papacy, and whose primary goal is to bring all under control and or supervision of the Vatican once again. For hundreds of years, Protestants like William Tyndale were executed and or tortured for possessing and distributing copies of the Bible in their own language. All of a sudden, that came to an end as everyone can have their own very personal Bible translation as if it was a flavor, rather than having an authorized version for the whole body of Christ to discern what is real or not. For those searching for a Bible outside of the influence of the Catholic Church, the King James Bible is the one to turn to, and not the Nestle's text. Proverbs 16 verses 12 to 13. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are 
the delight of kings, and they love him that speaketh right.